Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. We are doing a series on the Islamic Ethical Code. We are uh, discussing the different attributes and qualities that a believing person must possess. And we have to try and acquire good qualities in our life so we are not lost in this world. Uh, many times belief is uh, correct but the practice is not there. So therefore the good belief is no good until and unless you practice what you believe. We are discussing and the sermon of Imam Ali Salam, Khutbatul Wasila, in which Imam Ali Salam goes into uh, describing the good qualities that a believing person or any person should possess. One of the qualities he says that an a'jab bi ra'yihi a person whoever um, sees his own viewpoint, his own opinion to be uh, correct at all times or is best or better than the others. Wallah, he has gone astray, he's gone, he's lost. Um, so we have to try and give chance to other people. Do not believe that your opinion is the best. One of the teachers in Qom, Al-Muqaddasa, Tabrizi, Mr. Jawa Tabrizi, he used to always say that we always have husn zan about our own selves. We are very uh, optimistic about ourselves, but we are very pessimistic about others. We believe I am more learned, I am better, I am... Uh, my opinion is better, my viewpoint is better, and the others are less than me. They do not have the correct belief, they do not have the correct viewpoint. It should be the other way. We should always give importance to other people um, and believe that they, they may be correct until and unless we analyze their view and then um, adapt, uh, adopt our uh, correct view. Then, uh, then we can say that yes, we have um, uh, looked into the viewpoint of others and then uh, adopted the true uh, view. There was a great Marja Najaf al Ashraf. His name was Sheikh Murtada Ansari. About 150 years ago, he died in Al Najaf and he is buried in the Haram of Imam Ali. Um, towards the uh, last few years of his life, one of the last few years, for, uh, to, towards the end of his life, one or two months he did not teach and the people started talking about it, his students complaining, why is he not teaching? We want to learn. He's quite elderly now. I think he died at the age of 72 and he was about 70 when he stopped teaching for a month. One of the great scholars who was very learned went to him and said, well, people want to learn. Why have you stopped teaching? He said, well, recently I received a letter from um, one of the scholars from Iran and he was a friend of mine. He has written to me uh, uh, criticizing many of my viewpoints and uh, when I read through his letter, I realized that none of the things that he has said um, about my views, about my fatwas or whatever you want to say, uh, is correct. None of those are valid arguments. Uh, they're all baseless. And it made me reflect. It made me think, have I also done the same thing about great scholars? When I, in my work, in my speeches, in my lectures, in my... Um, uh, lessons that I'm giving to my students. I have criticized many great scholars. Even in my books, in, uh, I have criticized and uh, the views of other scholars and I have written my own uh, reflection or I have uh, written my own views. Have I also made a similar mistake criticizing those scholars and they're not even alive to come back and answer, uh, answer me uh, for my criticisms? And that has made me stop my lectures. And that great scholar said, well, your viewpoints are good because there are great scholars in your time who have praised your work. So he took the names of some of the great scholars like Mirza Shirazi and uh, others. That these are some of your greatest students who, who have praised your work, who say that your uh, arguments are valid, your criticisms are in place. They're not out of, out of place. So you should teach. And so he started teaching again. But that's a great lesson for us. He is known to be Khatum al Fuqaha wal Mushtahideen, the seal of the jurists and uh, experts. If such an expert, uh, when reflecting on him, his own views, can think, have I uh, just crossed the line of criticizing the views of other great scholars, like Allah Mahilli, Muhaqq al Hilli, Sheikh al Tusi, and and others, or am I in place to criticize the views? I think it happens to all. 
to scholars, to learned people, to students, to laymen, we all sometimes cross the line of criticizing the views of others. And we all think that my view, my um, opinion is perfect. My opinion is final. My opinion is the best. And I think we all need to most probably reflect on our own views uh, before we think that I'm in place and all others are lost. It may be you who is lost. Um, there was a person who, uh, who was thinking that his wife uh, is now losing her hearing. Uh, she cannot hear things properly. So he needed to see from how, you know, from what distance she doesn't uh, hear anything. So he said, okay, I'll stop about 200 meters and I'll call her and I'll see if she can hear me. So he called her, he did not hear her answer. He went to 180 meters, then he went to 150 meters calling her. Um, so after, at the fifth point, he stopped and he called her and she said, yes, for the fifth time, what do you want? So he realized that his wife was hearing him at all times. It was him who was losing the hearing. It was him who, uh, who could not hear her properly. So many times, you know, we start to believe that I'm correct and the others are wrong. But we need to probably analyze our own views before we start criticizing other people. So to self-belief does not mean that you always believe that you are right. I'm always right and all others, they need to, to, to change their way to mine. It may be you who needs to change uh, your way of life to, the, to others. It may be me who, uh, who is wrong and I need to change my way to the path of others. And, and many times we do realize and most of the time we do not. So let's not uh, take our opinion to be final. Uh, let, let's allow others to also give their opinions. I've seen in life uh, that many people um, uh, uh, are very learned and their views are very strong, but their views are not final. Their views are not uh, an authority because they haven't actually practiced their own views. They haven't experienced or they haven't experimented their views. Until and unless you experiment your view, you don't know if your opinion or your um, hypothesis or your uh, theory is correct. It's only a theory until and unless you put it into practice. Many times you believe in your teacher or your great scholar to be very good and uh, final authority, final uh, verdict on, on something until and unless they thoroughly examine their own view, they will not know um, if it is correct. And sometimes you don't only need to examine it, you need to put it into practice. You need to um, put it into, uh, you know, you need to experiment it to, to find out if it is a correct opinion. So let's, brothers and sisters, not only uh, put others down for holding a different view to ours, but also um, um, try and give respect to the others. Listen to them carefully. Many times we listen to the views of others, uh, not because we want to hear their opinion, but what answer will we give to them? We listen to a person carefully to respond to them, to, uh, to reply to them. Please listen to a person uh, carefully that they may have something. Sometimes a child says something that has some weight. Sometimes, sometimes even a lay person, a person who you think is not even learned, they may say something that has uh, some weight in what they are saying. And I've seen that many times. Many good ideas come not from the top politicians but from people on the, on the ground, people on the, um, on the very uh, first level. So they give answers to some of the problems and their solutions are found on the grassroots level. So please do not hold your opinion to be final. 
I would like to end um, this session by saying that opinions of all people matter. Uh, and um, theories and hypotheses of any person uh, should be considered. Um, they are not final, they are not uh, the best, but even respecting others for their opinions and then adapting to new views is extremely important. Our view is not final, our judgment is not the best. Uh, we should listen to others before making final decisions. It is known to be the uh, hikmat amali the practical wisdom that don't hold your view to be the best. Listen to others and you may realize that yes, there is another view out there which is better than yours. If there isn't, then you already have your own view. Thank you very much for listening.